All right, what do we got today? We've got bass. It says here, four core, dual coil, strong bass. And looks like it comes in three colors and the ones in the box should be black. And then this wonderful message on the side, it says, four nuclear powered music cannon. So, contents of this are destined to be quite explosive. Okay. okay. Comes in a completely unbranded little semi-hard case, which is always nice. And then you've got bag with the headphones in. Doesn't appear to be any sort of a manual. Let's have a look. So, in the box, you get Let's see if I can zoom down here. Okay. You get some sort of a clip, probably for cable management. And then there is some rubber ear pads, or whatever you call these things. There's to be two sizes. This is kind of interesting. So, Cable is extremely shiny for some reason. Okay. Also, for some reason, we have one of the ear things on here. The other one suspiciously has no, no nothing on it. interesting. So you get an odd number of ear thingies. Let's turn this inside out. Okay, fold it down. And it appears... I always like to use the larger ones because a good seal means good base. And as these headphones are all about the bass... Okay. I, I've got to say they are quite heavy. Which is a good sign. This cable... See, it's rather thick up to this point where the little controls are, but these little wires are very, very thin. So hopefully they're fairly strong. There's a lot of metal in this connector, which I like. And it is, if you look, there we go. You've got um, two rings, which means that these have a microphone in them, which is cool. We don't have a manual, but we do have the Amazon listing. So according to the Amazon listings, these are the QMOX. FX-156 quad dynamic drivers, wired headphones, HD bass driven audio in-ear earbuds, noise isolating headphones, 3.5 millimeter jack with mic. Um, what else do they say about it? Perfect for music during running, gym sessions, commuting or studying. Designed for comfort with three pairs of earbuds, well, two and a half. 10 millimeter neodymium driver provides bass and clarity together with okay frequency response 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. Compatible with a wide range of electronics, iPhone old version, and I left a bunch of phones and stuff. So uh, I'm going to 
put these through their paces and I'll come back and I'll tell you how they performed. All right, I think I gave these things a fair shake. Um, when I first um, tried to use them, they were uh, just all bass, no mids and highs whatsoever. And um, I've got experience with, you know, audio stuff, being a recording engineer, and sometimes these things need to be broken in. So I played music through these things all night, and I just left them connected to uh, my computer, and I put a playlist on, and it was playing all sorts of different kinds of music or whatever, and they were a bit better this morning when I when I woke up, but there is not, you have to, um, I wouldn't recommend using these for anything other than with your phone, and then you can go in and boost all the frequencies, you know, uh, above 500K, depending on your taste. You might want to raise or lower 500K and then one kilohertz to 16 kilohertz. You're going to want them up like um, to get any, you know, stereo effect. They almost sound uh, out of the box. They almost, I thought they might be mono, <laughs> but they're not mono. Um, they seem well made. These things, at time of uh, at time of me recording this, they're only eighteen dollars. So, you know, um, what I would say is that uh, if you like to listen to podcasts when you're walking around, and you live somewhere where it's safe to sort of block out outside sounds, you're not going to get shivved. You know, <clears throat> don't wear these out to the yard if you're in prison because you're not going to hear, you know, the gang members sneaking up behind you and stuff. Sorry. Um, I just love uh, English. The, the, the badly translated four core dual coil strong bass. And this is my favorite. This, if this doesn't appear in the thumbnail, I'll be shocked. Let's zoom down. There we go. Four nuclear powered music cannon. But yeah, um, they're all right. If you, you know what, I mean, I like to hear crisp top end because I listen to music where, you know, drummers, they play the hi hats and uh, I like to hear that stuff. And I like to hear spatially, you know, sometimes when uh, people like me are recording the albums for people, <clears throat> we like to set it up so you get a, a sense of the space, you know, where it was recorded and, um, so you want your mids and highs. And I just find that these are not very hi-fi, but if you're listening to very, very simple music, drum and bass, and you just want that heavy thwack in the bottom end, these things do have a lot of bass. They're not, they're not, they're not kidding when they say strong bass, you know? And maybe you can get them in blue or green. But, uh, yeah, I mean, for 18 bucks, can I really complain about them? Nah, not really. Having said that, <clears throat> um, I bought these JVC headphones. I actually did a video for them on another channel, like, years ago. Um, and I bought them in the dollar store, and they were, like, 8 bucks, And they sounded incredible, but they were very flimsy, and they broke after a couple of months. But they sounded better than these. So... What's that saying, really? Anyway, remember, four nuclear-powered music cannon.